Former All Star closer. Guess what, everyone? The first thing you'll notice here is the electronic strike zone box. The on screen graphic is missing. It doesn't work. So everyone is flying blind. Except us, of course, because we never use the graphics in the first place. We use the raw numbers, and those are still working just fine. That pitch is taken. And it strikes and that's, that's about as mad terrible. as you ever see Brian Reynolds furious that's again we, we talk about this a lot hitters have to bear down hitters hitters you know you're in a big situation here second third no out you have a chance with a ground ball and a fly ball to tie things up Chung's been ejected he should this is terrible you got to bear it out as an umpire here Derek Shelton has been ejected by plate umpire Roberto Ortiz. Derek Shelton used his best hitter in the biggest part of the game. Probably the only time he wanted to use him was in a situation where it can change the course of the game. And so he goes up there and puts together a real good at bat after falling behind, and he draws a walk. That's clearly and the again, way. And, and so your umpire, as you as an umpire, you have to bear down just like the players are bearing down, and, and it's inexcusable. There hasn't been a call like that all day, by the way, where he's rung somebody up on a pitch that bad. An eight pitch at bat, called a strike. And you could see Derek Shelton saying it's down. I mean, and it was off the plate. Well, too. again, yeah. but as far as down, I mean, from the side, you can't see in and out. Yeah. Okay. And so, and, and, umpire, and umpires aren't going to let you run. Get umpires aren't going to let you argue. You're not supposed to argue balls and strikes. So that's the only thing as a manager you can get away with is to say it's down or it's up, because you can tell down or up. Except for that tiny matter of the pitch actually being well above the bottom of the strike zone, but you know, the box didn't work, so yeah. Yeah, that's one for two lifetime. Fast forward to the ninth inning and look at that, they fixed the strike zone box. So naturally this ejection will have nothing to do with the box. He swung Doug Edding said so and Yelich can't believe it. You know, it's just still at home plate. Well, they give him a lot of leeway there. And he's gone. He's been ejected from the game. Yelich ejected by Roberto Ortiz. Uh, he lingered a long time. Now he's littering the field. Yelich has been thrown out. Uh, he was given a long leash. And Craig Council. Well, Shelton has been ejected, and now Yelich for the Brewers by Ortiz. And, um, Vogel back uh, rung up on a civil boy. Yeah, that, that oh. was. Uh, that they had a beef. <laughs> that was huh? close. That was really bad. They had a genuine beef. There is a bunch to dissect here. First, obviously, is the check swing call itself, which is, oh my. And second is, why is the plate umpire throwing out a player for a call made by the third base umpire? But of course, if the third base umpire were to eject, the complaint would be, why are the third base umpires ejecting from so far away? Yeah, flip the bat. He's fortunate that Eddie didn't throw him out. Kudos to the Brewers broadcast, though. Either way, though, in the Dusty Baker ejection video, we talked about an example of an umpire, Ben May in that case, not engaging, not pursuing the player or continuing to look at the player, etc. This is kind of the opposite. Now, Ortiz gave him a little while to stand there, but after a while, you do have to move on. Yeah, for sure. It's just funny because he didn't say that when it was your guy who got tossed. Anyway, this was my favorite part of the entire sequence. Cue Christian Yelich. That wasn't close. That was really Actually, no. I think this is my favorite part. If I had this Adonis sitting behind home plate, I'd probably be too distracted to call a check swing. Doug Edding said so, and Yelich can't believe it. 